Hi students, welcome to my channel. This video is useful for 8th standard onwards. Keep watching. This is class number 57. Discuss the state of the object lying on the inclined plane as shown in the figure. For the following three angles, take mu s equal to 1 by root 3. For question A, theta is equal to 20 degrees. Question B, theta equal to 30 degrees. Question C, theta is equal to 45 degrees. The question is like this. This is inclined plane. Making angle theta with the horizontal surface. Okay, one block, one object of mass m is lying on the inclined plane. Because of gravitational force downward, one component of the gravitational force along this direction, that is mg sin theta. Already in the previous class, we have derived it. So it's supposed to move along this direction. But it is not moving. Why? Because there is one force of static friction that is opposite to the mg sin theta. So the downward force mg sin theta changes with theta. As theta increasing, this mg sin theta increases. But the force of static friction will increase as it is increasing but it will go up to maximum value fs maximum that is mu s into n mu s is force of quotient of static friction mu s so the maximum force of static friction will be there if this mg sin theta is beyond that, then it will move along this direction. Okay. For that what we have to do, for the given value, that is mu s, the coefficient of static friction. What is the angle theta? Means for this angle theta, the force of Static friction will be maximum. We derived in the previous classes mu s is equal to tan theta. So I am calling this is particular theta, theta l. Okay, so tan theta l that is mu s. So 1 by root 3, no, it is given because for two set of materials or objects or surfaces in contact, this is fixed. So mu s is equal to 1 by root 3 given. So, mu s is tan theta L equal to 1 by root 3 is tan 30 degrees. So, theta L will be 30 degrees. Okay. This is fixed angle for this set of surfaces. Surface of object and surface of this inclined plane. This theta L equal to 30 degrees. For this value, the force of static friction is maximum. Okay. Now, in the question, three angles are given. Theta is equal to 20, 30 and 45. Now, we will compare the given angles with theta L. Okay. See here, question A. Theta is equal to 20 degrees. It is less than theta L. So, object is at rest. The force of static friction Fs is equal to mg sin 20. Okay. Now question B. Theta is equal to 30 degree. Equal to theta L. Object is just able to move. Still it is rest. So this Fs that is force of static friction will become maximum. Fs maximum. Force of static friction maximum. That is equal to how much? mg sin 30. Okay. The question C, theta is equal to 45 degrees. 
it is more than theta l so object moves downward so mg sin 45 is greater than fs maximum you got it no for these three cases i hope you understood this is question number one Find the minimum force F required as shown in the figure such that object remains at rest. The given information take mu s coefficient of static friction equal to 0 0.2 given. G acceleration due to gravity 10 meter per second square is given. The question is like this. This is one wall rigid wall one object of mass 10 kg it is pressing this object is pressed to the wall with a force f okay that is applied along this direction such that this object should not fall down if you remove this no it will fall down no now you see the free body diagram solution like this this is the mass m 10 kg what are the forces acting on it? Downward is mg due to gravitational force. So, upward will be force of static friction Fs. So, left side the force is applied force F along this direction. But it is not moving along this direction no, because this wall is preventing. So, this wall also exerts force on this object along this direction that is normal force. N. So, because of F along this direction, there will be one normal reaction force along this direction. This is a free body diagram. So, simply we know the right side force is equal to left side force that is N equal to F. So, normal reaction force is equal to F. F is applied force. So, it is not moving down also. It is not moving up also. So, it is at rest now. So, upward force is equal to downward force, Fs, that is, co uh, that is uh, force of static friction, Fs is equal to mg. Okay. Then what is the condition? In which condition this mg will not move downward? Okay. So, one thing is true. This force of static friction, upward, no? It will increase as this is increasing downward. So, up to some maximum value of Fs, that is Fs maximum. So, this Mg should be, Mg should be equal actually, Mg should be equal to, equal or less than, Mg should be less than or equal to Fs maximum. Okay. So, Fs maximum is equal to, already you know, that is equal to mu s into n. Okay. So, this condition we have to take. So, mg downward force that is mass and g, this is fixed. This Fs max, it depends on 2, mu s and n. Okay, n is a normal reaction force. That is nothing but this, n equal to f. As f is increasing, n increases. So, this maximum force of static friction is changing with applied force. Okay. So this mg, the gravitational force downward, it should be less than or equal to mu s into f. For minimum f applied force, mg equal to mu s into f. So f equal to mg divided by mu s. m is 10 kg, g is 10 divided by mu s is 0.2. So, it will be 500 Newton. So, minimum force that is external force applied is 500 Newton. You got it, no? I am giving you some questions. You have to answer them. You have to write the comments also. If you get the answer, you write the answer in the my YouTube channel. Okay? So, question A what happens if F that is the external force F is less than F minimum. The minimum is 500 Newton no. 
So if applied force F is less than 500 Newton, what happens? Question B. What happens if F applied force is greater than F minimum that is 500 Newton? In the above problem, these two questions you have to solve and post your answers. Okay students, I hope you are understanding very well. Okay students, the most important thing what you have to do is, just watching this video is not enough. You write down the notes whatever I have given and practice at least two times. Then only you will get the perfection. The perfection is most important. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Please like this video and share this video. And subscribe my channel and tap the bell icon to get the notification for further uploads of my videos. Okay, till next video. Bye bye Tata. Enjoy every moment of your life.